Good morning, South Florida. I'm Keith Jones. And I'm Francis Wang. Here's a look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Breaking news right now. Parts of University Drive in Plantation shut down this morning after a fiery and fatal crash. Here's what's left of the car. It was in pieces in the street. Again, University Drive between 3rd and 5th Street specifically shut down. They will remain closed until further notice. No word on fatalities or injuries. More protests are planned for today across Miami-Dade County. Last night marked the fourth night of protests in support of Cuban freedom. Hundreds gathered in front of Versailles and Little Havana for a rally and a concert. But after a couple of songs, the crowd said they didn't want to hear any more music and demanded their voices be heard instead. This morning, there's also a growing cry for Cuban Americans for the U.S. to intervene. Today marks three weeks since the Surfside building collapse took place. The death toll now at 97. According to Miami-Dade County, as of last night, 240 people have been accounted for, eight people still potentially unaccounted for, 22 million pounds, more than 22 million pounds of debris and concrete now removed from the site. Also, death investigations underway right now after two men were found dead inside of a room at the former Versace mansion. It's now known as the Villa Casa Casarina. The bodies were found by a housekeeper. Chopper 4 flew over the building on Wednesday afternoon. You see cop cars here blocking off the area. Today marks 24 years since Johnny Versace was shot and killed on the front steps of that mansion. Now to look at some of your Thursday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon, and you can get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.